YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. Um, surprised, I've been asked quite a few times, but here we go anyway. How to use the MB4 on a PC for Forza Motorsport. It's a game I quite like, and I've played a lot on the Xbox controller, but never entered me head to try it on the MB4, but I've been asked more than once for it, so here you go. Hope you enjoy. Right, so... First thing you're going to want to do is power up the PC and plug your MB4 into the PC after it's booted. And like me other video, you want to have the controller set up on a model memory, just call it PC, leave everything as stock on the controller at first. You can go in and tune all your exponential and everything to make it fit this game. But once your controller is connected, you're going to want to go to control panel app. Then you're going to want to open device and printers. You're going to right click and then go to your settings. And then you want to go to your properties. And in here you want to make sure your controller is being detected. And make sure all your buttons are being detected. And then you can set your uh, Z and X to whatever you like. So you can have them as three-point switches or multi-point variable, however you want to set it up in your MB4. Once you know that it's all detected in there, you can also check if you've got any other controllers, make sure your MB4 is set as your stock one. Then you want to go ahead and launch Forza. So, once your game starts... screen resolution on this as well so basically you want to press R to go into your options and I'll just change my video layer because I don't like what that's showing as frame rate on and we need it full screen. That's done it then. So first thing you want to do is go into your control options and you want to change to this screen. You want to make sure your gas and brake and steering are both combined. Then you want to go onto that one, press enter pull your throttle on MB4 onto that one press enter move your steering I'll set your steering and your throttle and then it's up to you you've got four extra buttons so you've got the two on the trigger and the two at the side of the wheel and you can set these up to whatever you like so I've got one of them on the um, actual handle set as um, rewind and then gear up gear down for if I want to run manual so once you've got them you want to press C to save and then you come back out of this option and jump into the game and it, again same as on the other video you want to make sure that you've got plenty of power to power and charge your MB4 if you plug it into a low powered USB 1 standard plug it's not going to work it's just going to drain your battery on your MB4 which now, I haven't changed any throttle or steering exponential or anything like that, and it seems to run fine. Right, so, let's see how we go. Now, the throttle's working, and the steering's working, so that's not bad. And it does feel quite responsive. Not, uh, not that I'm that good at uh, driving Forza with an MB4. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to because it is very different from the uh, Xbox controller. Uh, overall, I don't think it's too bad at all. It does feel very responsive, very sensitive. If I don't write car off, then... Uh, <laughs> then it's not a bad job using MB4. 
quite a lot of travel to break and throttle, so it does. It it will take a little bit of getting used to. Um, and as I say, you can dial in a bit of exponential on your steering, or you can have it on your throttle. I'm not entirely sure our ABS would work on this game. That could be interesting. Because um, if you do have drive raids on, I run with ABS and everything off, but if you have drive raids off, you score more points or more credits. So it could be a bit of a cheat with the MB4 if you uh, play around with ABS settings and everything. Get it tweaked just right for the game. Um, could be a way of getting extra, uh, extra credit. Not that I condone cheating on games, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, there's no no delay in the input. Uh, it's letting me it's the apex on corners quite well. Well, when I get the braking right. I've recently upgraded to Windows 11, so I've had to reset all my settings on the game. Um, come up with an error if you come across this if you upgrade to Windows 11. Comes up with an error saying uh, your trial period has expired on game. And uh, Microsoft's online help tells you to delete the game and re-download it. I've later found that what you can actually do if you get that problem is just go to your apps and settings and tell it to repair the game, which takes a few seconds compared to downloading a, over 100 gig if you've got the full version of the game. But definitely something, uh, if, if you come across that, that your trial period's expired and you actually own the game on Windows 11, just go to apps and settings under repair yeah it's not uh, not taking me as long as I thought to get used to this I think I've got the AI set on difficult it's not uh, not bad at all I'm quite surprised at how responsive it feels you do feel very connected to the car and especially on this view it's kind of similar to driving an RC you're looking from behind it certainly an interesting concept using MB4 for car games on PC. You have got the um, is it X and Z access that you could potentially set up to be your look left and right depending on how you set them. If you have them to three point I suppose that should work. Um, not something I've tried. But just the throttle and steering works really really well. And of course having the rewind set on your uh, handle one of the handle buttons that's quite easy to get to not sure about the gears because I've got it running on automatic on this I'm not sure how it would feel kind of letting go at steering wheel to hit a gear change but to say this is the first attempt I've had with it it's uh, it's quite surprising it does it does feel quite normal to drive on the PC using the MB4 and I would just make sure, keep an eye on your MB4 the first time you use it, see if it's actually draining the battery, make sure your USB socket's got enough power to power both the base battery, the internal battery, or charge both batteries, and power the MB4 at the same time. Um, I do believe the MB4 turns off the transmission when it's in PC mode. Which would make sense. I've also tried it, uh, setting it to 8 channel mode but it doesn't detect any extra buttons so I think that's a limitation of what the PC sees the MB4 at but you do have four that you can assign and then you've got your throttle access, your steering and then you've got the other two that you can assign to whatever you want on the controller as well so it will be game specific but some games will let you assign a, a sort of a Z access to be a button or an actual fully controllable analog input But that's something game by game you'd have to play about with. But certainly the steering and throttle work, and the four buttons work perfect on pretty much any game you try it on. Not sure if there'd be anything other than driving games that you want to use an MB4 for, but... suppose you can experiment with them. But yeah, quite an interesting uh, concept using the MB4 to play Forza. Does work pretty well. Quite impressed with it. So, if you like these kind of videos, like and subscribe. Don't forget to share to friends and family. 
or anybody you might find uh, might find it interesting. And I'll catch you guys again on the next one.